Yo what is going on guys, Flash First here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8 and earlier today we got some promo images released for The Flash Season 8 Episode 4 titled Armageddon Part 4 aka the penultimate episode for this event and yeah I'll be going over each of the promo images and break them down because wow are they very very interesting it just gets me very intrigued for episode 4 and I honestly cannot wait for this episode this episode just couldn't come any sooner but yeah last episode was a very interesting episode it did a lot of you know setting the stage for the beginning of Armageddon and we are getting closer and closer to Armageddon actually happening this episode just mainly focused on Barry trying to be rid of his powers with the help of Black Lightning so that they follow the Injustice Protocol which the Justice League set up in case one of them go rogue because Barry has been going crazy during episode 2. He's been having blackouts, he's attacked his own team and he's attacked innocent civilians and he's forgotten that Joe died and he doesn't even remember any of those things happening. So we have obviously been theorizing that a certain someone has been pulling the strings all along in which in episode 3 we get the reveal in regards to who has been causing this Armageddon and we find out that someone has been using the negative still force to change the timeline which forces Barry to run to the future to figure out who is the one pulling the strings and that is none other than Ia Barton, aka the Reverse Flash himself. We see Barry time traveling to 2031 and he goes to this West party only to see his friends listening to a very familiar voice that of course being Eobarthon himself who is pretty much marrying Iris. So yeah that was a pretty crazy ending to leave off with and I cannot wait to see how everything plays out in part 4 or episode 4 and how exactly Barry will solve this issue. But something that is probably crazier than this ending is some new promo images we got and it is insane. I'll be breaking all of them down and giving you guys my overall thoughts and theories to what I think could be happening in those given shots. But before I go over anything however you guys don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you are aware of more Arrowverse content coming your way. Okay so firstly we have this shot of Barry Allen suited up as the Reverse Flash. Now this suit looks crazy good, I am absolutely mind blown by how amazing it looks. I love the detailing on this suit, I love how it is very similar to Grant Gustin's season 6 to 8 flash suit, but with the colours just being reversed, I love how detailed the emblem looks. And um, as I said before, I love the additional black linings or the stitchings they added on the suit, it's very well detailed, I love how they added like some leather paddings on the sleeves as well it looks really really damn cool if we get a red version of this for the flash suit for like a next flash suit that'll be pretty cool however i'm not going to complain if we still have the current flash suit because that one's already perfect as it is but maybe if we have this version of the suit but in the colors of the flash i think it will look really cool as well but hopefully this reverse flash suit will be the permanent reverse flash suit going forward because it looks crazy good it looks crazy good on grant gustin and it's probably going to look crazy good on tom cavanagh as well but obviously we do see that this is still in the party judging from the background so we now know that not only has eobarton aka the reverse flash changed the timeline to take everything away from barry including his friends and his wife but he also changes the timeline so that he becomes the Flash and Barry becomes the Reverse Flash. Now saying that this is the opening scene of the episode and last episode we did see Barry in the party with normal clothes. Maybe Barry goes to confront Thon in which that's obviously going to happen. We saw that in the trailer and a battle is about to begin. However, due to the timeline catching up on Barry as he is in the future, what if Barry tries to like put on the suit and the suit just randomly becomes the reverse flash suit and Barry just looks at himself and just goes like, wait, what the heck, what did you do, Thon? That would be pretty cool to see as well. And then when Thon appears with the flash suit, oh my god, I just cannot wait to see that. But in the next shot, we do actually see Eobard Thon, aka the reverse flash, suited up as the Flash and obviously we see Team Flash as well as Batwoman and Ryan Choi getting ready to fight Barry's reverse Flash as well but yeah Thon looks pretty damn creepy in the Flash suit it doesn't look as good as on him as it does on Grant and obviously Grant suits the reverse Flash suit really well so I cannot wait to see how that reverse Flash suit looks on Tom Kavanagh now, although their secret identities have swapped because now Barry is the reverse Flash and Eobard Thon is the Flash, 
I do still think that Thon is Thon and Barry is Barry. So it's not an Elseworlds type thing where Oliver Queen just becomes Barry Allen and becomes the Flash as well. And Barry becomes Oliver Queen and becomes the Green Arrow as well. I don't think that's the case over here. I just think that Thon changes the timeline. So Barry Allen has always been the reverse Flash and he's been the villain. And Thon has pretty much been the hero and he's been the Flash. And due to the timeline changing, everyone on Earth now thinks that Eobarthon is the Flash and Barry Allen is the Reverse Flash. That includes the people in the party as well. However, in the case of Barry and obviously in the case of Thon as well, and also you could count the audience as well, we know what is actually going on over here. We know that Thon manipulated the timeline to do this. So it turns out that I was right with my theories and I did actually predict that this person in the trailer was not Barry but it was actually Thon as the Flash. So I'm glad to be correct. But yeah, I'm just obsessing over how crazy good Grant Gustin looks in this Reverse Flash costume. But yeah, we do have this one-on-one -on -one confrontation between Reverse Flash and The Flash. And from what I'm able to tell from the trailer, Barry is able to mop the floor with Thon and then he's probably going to run away. Just judging from what I saw in the trailer because all we saw is this person wearing the Flash who just kept getting tossed around. So I'm assuming that's going to be Thon. So maybe that's the case, Barry does mop the floor with them and he runs away to get some additional help which I will get to in a bit. But in that party we do obviously get this shot of Iris aiming a blaster at Barry and we have all those heroes suited up as well. We have Alex Danvers suited up as Sentinel, we have Batwoman suited up as Batwoman and we have Ryan Choi about to suit up as the Atom as they watch Barry's reverse flash and Thon's The Flash go at each other and obviously they will help out and... As I said, I think that Barry will be able to beat them despite his decreased speed. I think that he will actually be the one who bests them in this battle. But yeah, Barry is all alone. Thon took away his friends and Iris. So who is Barry going to get help from now? Well, if we have a look at this shot over here, Barry gets help from the one and only Damien Dark. And this was also another theory which I have predicted. So what if the Reverse Flash and Damien Dark alliance is not what we were actually promised that it would be. What if it's actually between Barry and Damien Dark, not Eobard Thon and Damien Dark? So yeah, I'm glad to have another one of my theories correct as well. So since Barry is now viewed as a villain, and Thon is obviously viewed as the hero at this point, Barry would have to turn to another villain for help, which is how Damien Dark will probably come into play. So it does look like Barry's reverse flash will actually be the one having an alliance with Damien Dark, and it won't be Thon and Damien Dark having an alliance, which we all assumed it would have been at first. It will be interesting to see how exactly Damien Dark comes into play in Armageddon because he did die in Legends of Tomorrow Season 5 and then after Season 3 of Legends and then during Season 4 and 5 of Legends of Tomorrow as well, he did redeem himself. So hopefully they do explain how he returns. I would assume so that Eobard Thon brings him back to life so that they could execute this plan and Damien agrees and then they cause Armageddon like that. And then maybe in this episode, that being episode 4, Damien Dark makes an alliance with Barry and stabs Thon in the back. That's what I think could happen and then Damien and Barry would work together to undo everything. And then the catch could be that in the actual timeline, Damien Dark is obviously dead. So maybe the catch is that if Barry restores the timeline back to normal, Damien will ask Barry to find a way to make sure Damien Dark does not die in the actual timeline. Now, the only reason I'm assuming that this is the case is due to the synopsis where it does say Damien Dark offers advice to Barry, but there is a catch. So if I am wrong with this theory, I am genuinely interested to see what this is about. But yeah, we do then have this shot of Damien Dark and Barry, and this is obviously at nighttime. The previous shots were at nighttime as well, but this is in another angle. And judging from their facial expressions from the show over here, I'm guessing that someone's about to enter the house or maybe someone's rung the bell and presumably that's Eobard. And then over here we have Barry and Damien trying to execute a plan and come up with a plan to stop what's going on. We do also see Barry holding this device on his right hand, which is this tachyon device which we have seen in set photos and it's going to be like glowing blue and stuff. So is this something which maybe negates the effects of this timeline change? Maybe it helps Barry slowly turn things back to normal? 
Who knows, maybe it helps Barry run faster because as we know, his speed has massively decreased due to last episode and that's obviously due to Black Lightning taking some of them away. But who knows, I'm interested to see what this device is actually about. We do then have this shot of Damien Dark alone, so maybe this is when Barry runs away quickly because Thon comes in and Damien over here is acting like he's on Thon's side, but in reality, he's with Barry. It could also be that this is the first time Barry comes in and ha asks Damien Dark for help. But yeah, I'm genuinely interested to see what this is about. This episode just looks really, really interesting. And I think it's going to be the best episode of Armageddon. But lastly, we do have a couple of shots of Ryan Wilder, aka Batwoman, as well as Iris. And this is Ryan probably giving Iris a pep talk about what has happened in the party, saying that Batwoman is still suited up. Ryan is still suited up as Batwoman. So maybe Iris has doubts that she is indeed feeling something is wrong and maybe she does trust Barry a bit and Ryan just helps her figure it out maybe. Who knows, I'm very interested to see what this is about. It does look like Ryan and Iris do have this great friendship going on so I cannot wait to see their interactions in the actual episode as well. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. Be sure to tell me in the comment section down below what you guys think is going on over here. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.